if you watch this video carefully then you will be able to understand how to calculate the materials for a RCC slab so keep watching thank you and before we start calculating first uh, let me uh, explain uh, what are the things uh, uh, what are the what is the geometry okay so slab <coughs> the slab size in plan is 8 meters by 16 meters I am also attaching uh, that plan for your consumption okay so slab uh, size is 8 meters by 16 meters it is divided into four bays four meters each the slab thickness is 150 mm the beam all beams are B, RB1 roof beams they are uh, known as uh, in this sim, uh, drawing I have symboled them as RB1 so what is RB1 the thickness is 300 mm the depth is 600 mm okay and at the top there is a slab of 150 mm so what is the hanging distance or unsupported beam side which is coming out pro, uh, projecting from the slab is 450 mm so slab thickness is 150 mm and the beam size is 300 by 450 mm got it fantastic calculation is the slab 16 meter by 8 meter is equal to 120 square meters okay simple calculation 16 by 8 gives you 128 square meters you multiply it by 10.76 it gives you 1377 square feet which comes to 13.77 brass or which is nearest to 14 brass okay so slab is 14 brass so you can say I am working out the materials for a slab of 14 brass 1400 square feet in our case it is 1377 square feet is it okay now remember in our previous video we have seen that if it is M20 concrete if the slab thickness is 150 mm then for one brass of concrete we will need 11 bags so now it is simple 14 into 11 which gives you 154 bags of cement okay this far no problem 154 bags of cement now next we come to sand now how do we calculate the sand any complex formula none at all now you know that the cement is 154 bags what is the proportion of sand with respect to cement 1 1.5 1.5 is to 3 see ratio is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 so with respect to cement how much is sand 1.5 times so what you do 154 multiplied by 1.25 CFT multiplied by 1.5 which is 289 cubic foot simple got it now how much is aggregate aggregate is double of sand so 289 multiplied by 2 which gives you 576 sorry 578 cubic foot got it so for slab now we know we will need cement 154 bags sand 289 cubic foot and aggregate 578 cubic foot fantastic so so far what we have done first we saw the geometry of the slab we saw the beam cross section we saw the thickness of the slab then we found out what is the area of slab and from area of slab we found out how much will be the cement required <coughs> from cement we found out what is the sand required from sand we found out how much is aggregate required is it clear now we come to beams if you see the plan you will find out that there are five beams eight meter long which comes to 40 meters there are three beams 16 meter long which comes to 48 meters so total length of beams 
of 300 by 450 cross section is 88 running meters. Got it? Now, if you have seen previous video in which we have established that for a beam of 300 by 450 cross section, if we have M20 concrete, then per running meter of the beam, we will require one bag of cement, two bags of, sorry, two CFT of sand and four CFT of aggregate. We have established that. You can have a uh, reference to the video. Just I am giving you the link again. Okay. So, therefore, cement required will be 88 multiplied by 1 which gives you 88 bags. Sand required will be 88 into 2 which gives you 176 cubic foot. Aggregate will be 88 into 4 which gives you 352 cubic feet. Got it? So, for beam, it is clear for slab, we have the material. Now, only thing what we need to do is an abstract. Okay. So, I have a table. Now, we have got an abstract of total material required. In the column, we have written cement, sand, aggregate. In the horizontal, we have written beam and slab. We just put down the figures, what we have just found. And the total we have now. Cement we need 242 bags, sand we will need 465 CFT, aggregate we will need 930 CFT. In brass if you want I will tell you, cement is 242 bags, sand 4.65 brass, aggregate 9.3 brass. Got it? Enjoyed? So friends, uh, that is how we have seen that how by using the thumb rules, we can calculate the entire material required for a slab including beams in within 4 or 5 minutes. That is hardly any time. Now this could be an important question for you during your interview. It could be an important question asked to you by one of the seniors at the site and this could be one of the important assignments which you <coughs> will be normally be doing at the sites okay so if you are if you enjoyed the video do press the like button if you have not yet subscribed to the blog do subscribe and if you want to share this knowledge to your friends colleagues please send them this link please share this link to as many people as possible okay this is santosh kulkarni bringing you the estimation for of materials for concrete bye bye have a good day. Take care. See you.